hello there guys and welcome welcome back to the channel right so in today's video we're gonna be taking another champion up to rank four because well i did splurge a little bit i did have to get that paragon bundle in order to be able to do this rank up because that bundle put me over the needed amounts in tier 3 alpha and tier 6 basic so I'm going to be able to take up my champ, well, my rank four number 13. And now, as always with these, this isn't going to be a gameplay showcase video. And besides, uh, well, we're going to get to it. But this is going to be a video explaining my rationing, the reasoning, showing my current rank fours. Uh, there are 12 of them so far. And uh, yeah, kind of explaining my thought process and uh, everything surrounding it. So at the moment... I am sitting on 12 rank 4 champions, so we have Dr. Doom, Solar Surfer, Hercules, Omega Sentinel, Tomorrow Ragnarok, Boo, Nimrod, Mephisto, Kitty Pride, Gore, the God Butcher, Kingpin, Rin, Remus, and Nagato. And at the moment, um, I'm still of mindset that the champions that I do rank up, I want them to be useful for war, and I want them to be useful for battlegrounds. Ideally, as a two-way champions, or very dominant champions in whatever they do, and those are my priorities at the moment. Now, initially, I thought I'm going to finish taking all the champions up for my defense in order to have full rank for defense. But um, we're going to put that a bit on hold at the moment. I'm placing three champions at rank for level on defense, which would be Rintra, Gore, and Mephisto. There's still a handful of them left. So after 8.1, I'm going to take a look at which is going to be the next rank up, which champion we can take up. But also seeing... The Balgrounds matters, and realizing they're going to be very, very hard. They're going to have a lot of specialized champions that will be particularly good on each week. We can actually take a quick look on those matters because they're going to be all over the place. And these nodes are much, much, much harder than any beta that we played. And we're going to have Bulwark where no armor breaks at all, and metal champions are going to gain indestructible. So obviously we want champions that will work there, especially with explosive personality. He's going to leave a handful of champions in extremely vulnerable positions uh, against like Penny Parker and a whole chunk of other opponents. Week two, we have Dodge. And uh, that's going to be, again, completely different set of challenges where it's all going to be about evade and auto block countering. Then we're going to have Protect. And again, there are very few champions that can do well here. And uh, we're going to have Flow. It's also going to be very, very tough. And at the moment, I do not think that there is a single champion. There are many champ that there are many champions that will do well offensively or defensively here specifically. It's going to be very different decks that we face. It's going to be very different champions that we are required to use here. I don't think that you know you can rank up um, Rintra, and Rintra will be great for all of these because I don't think that's true. I don't think that you can rank up Bishop, and Bishop's going to be great for all of these on defense or offense, because I don't think that's true. There are, however, a handful of champions that I do think will retain a very, very large amount of potential and value in all of these, every single one of these. Polygons matters. Additionally, one thing that would have prevented perhaps or delayed me of doing this rank up that I'm about to do right now was Alliance War Ban System. Because the champion I'm going to be ranking up all the time gets banned. <laughs> and I did consider several different options as well. Warlock is one of the champions that I'm looking at in my shortlist rank up. Nick Fury is another one. And um, Ghost and Tigra are some of those champions as well. As well as Mr. Fantastic over here. There's lots of champions I want to rank up. The one champion that I decided on right now, and I think it is a perfect time to rank up, is Human Torch. So listen up here. Number one, Human Torch is arguably one of the most banned champions in Alliance War, and previously he never saw the light of day anymore because everybody all the time bans him. That alone also is a testament of how powerful he is in that game mode. However, for instance, next season, Human Torch is going to be whitelisted, and nobody's going to be able to ban Human Torch. 
since this season is all but over and there's only one war left, I think a Human Torch is appropriately timely rank up for next alliance for season offensively as well. As well, he's a conduit defender, so I can throw him on. So you can throw one Human Torch on defense, that's fine. And obviously you'll want some for attack, because again, nobody can ban this guy for the entire season. And season 37 allegedly is meant to be very competitive and having additional rank for attacker is definitely going to be helpful. So I think that is one good point for Human Torch right now to be a champion that goes up. And then another key aspect, perhaps the most important aspect for me, assuming that Shabam is going to sort out battlegrounds to a point where it actually makes sense to compete and try hard. And that is a very big if, obviously. But also, it works in my Balagon strategy. You see, I personally always ban Human Torch, and Human Torch is one of those champions that often gets banned from both sides. Because nobody really wants your opponent to have Human Torch. Why? Because he's like a huge, huge equalizer. He takes away a ton of planning, because there are just uh, so many matchups that you can use. Human Torch can nuke down vast majority of the champions incredibly quickly just the existence of human torch makes people more wary about uh drafting mystic champions or energy damage champions and even against champions of human torch isn't necessarily built for or against he can do really really well like human torch can take on kingpin he can take on mole man he can take on a whole bunch of different champions thanks to the fact that you can activate the Nova flame and nobody's immune to no flame so Human Torch is kind of like a big fail-safe and equalizer card. Like you can have your opponent dead to rights and cornered, and as long as they have Human Torch, you can almost be positive that most of the time they're going to win whatever round they use Human Torch on, unless it's kind of like a mirror match or something of the sort. Also, in Battlegrounds, I really actively heavily dislike participating in mirror matches. As in, like, I never like to, I don't know, go up against Nick Fury whilst the opponent's going up against Nick Fury with very similar opponents. I think it's kind of like one of the key drafting and planning points that I try to stick to. I always try to place a different champion on the defense than my opponent places, if possible. To that point, because Human Torch is always equalizer in terms of roster strength and size, uh, to the point that Human Torch is often equalizer of planning and strategy. I never want Human Torch to be present when a Balgons match takes place. So, I think I ban Human Torch 99% of my fights. And about 80% of the time, opponents ban, ban my Human Torch as well. So it's kind of like a wasted ban as well in both sides. Like, in the hindsight, if I knew my opponent would ban my Human Torch, I wouldn't have banned theirs, I would ban somebody else, for instance. And that is exactly the type of situation that I am trying to solve here. I want to make sure that the opponents ban my Human Torch as often as possible, so I can avoid banning their Human Torch and wasting one of my three banned spots. And that's why this fits perfectly with the strategy, because if my Human Torch is rank 4 and is bigger than theirs, then in any situation of a mirror match or a similar matchup, I will have the advantage. So if my opponent does not want to ban Human Torch, and I don't ban Human Torch, both of us do have access to this champion, well, then mine's bigger and faster and meaner, and I'm going to have at least a statistical advantage right there. And if opponent does ban my Human Torch, that's perfect. <laughs> that's what I wanted to happen in the first place, because I don't like having Human Torch around. That reason, right now, Human Torch is going to rank 4. And uh, I think I have kind of conveyed my points about as clear as I can, as I said. And obviously, Human Torch is an excellent champion have for solo content as well, for questing and things like that, because he has access to no flames. and. Uh, there's plenty of utility, there are immunities, there's region reversal, and all that other good stuff that makes Human Torch the champion that he is. But primarily looking at Alliance War, knowing that Human Torch is whitelisted for Season 37, season that will actually matter, that's a good reason for me to rank up Human Torch. 
and obviously also because of the battleground strategy and system because with this play right now i won't have to focus on banning opponents human torches because if they don't ban my human torch as long as i get mine in the draft i'm gonna have the advantage anyways because mine's going to be rank four bigger faster stronger healthier more durable more damage and i have the advantage of any opponent who runs rank two or three human torch typically rank three and if they do ban human torch perfect i never wanted human torch to be on the field anyways so that is the reason that is the strategy behind this rank up also as i previously showed the metas because human torch is such a nuke he works with all of these you see, Bulwark only activates when you hit opponents past 5% of their max damage. As we know, Human Torch doesn't do a lot of damage on his basic hits. Especially if you want to avoid maybe throwing level 2 and just go medium like medium combos. Easy, you can prevent the indestructible being activated in vast, vast majority of the cases when you use Human Torch. So he's going to fit with the Bulwark tactic. Dodge is kind of similar. Because you can just parry medium light, parry medium light, parry medium light. There's not going to be much opportunity for opponent to await at all because vast majority of your attacks is going to be hidden behind the parry stand. And because you can do medium light and it's easier to kind of predict, see the await coming and decks away from it. So I do think he's going to be valuable attack at during dodge too. During protect, it's a similar thing. Human Torch does not really have the capability of hitting 300% of his base attack. So we're not going to be worried about triggering opponent's protection stacks. And best of it all, Mighty Charge does not shrug off passives. So Human Torch is going to be still an absolute beast in this week. And similarly to Flow, because even though Human Torch does crit, you know, me decent amount of time, number one, the speed of the fights that he finishes off with is going to make it easier to deal with the Flow. Also, the playstyle where I do parry, medium, light, medium, parry, medium, light, medium is going to be quite suitable playstyle for Human Torch to be extremely dangerous in this as well. So Human Torch is quite literally one of the couple champions that I can see being very, very, very dangerous and absolutely ban worthy in every single meta in Season 1. So there we go. I do have a rank 4 Human Torch now. I actually have him at quite decent SIG level as well, so he's going to look even more intimidating because, uh, yeah, he's like SIG 120. It's all natural. I don't think Human Torch's signature ability is important at all. I think, especially in Balgrounds, it literally has no meaning or purpose. But being him higher up there, where it's going to be easier for opponents to notice that uh, that's probably a rank 4 Human Torch, is a good thing. Because I'm not trying to sneak him under the radar. <laughs> but that's it. So that's the reason behind my rank 4, number 13. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, rank 4, number 14 shouldn't be too far off anyways. Because when Act 8.1 comes out, that should have a rank 3 to 4 gem. And then obviously we're going to have to look at what class we get in order to decide what champion to rank up. But if you guys want a tiny small preview, I do think I have quite good options in all in pretty much every class. Because uh, if I get a science one, it's likely going to be Mr. Fantastic or I Hulk or Overseer, perhaps Immortal of Nation. So there are like four really good options off the bat, even though I don't have Quicksilver. Now in skill class, it would almost definitely be Nick Fury, perhaps Hitmonkey, but probably Nick Fury. Potentially Blade or Massacre, but most likely Nick Fury. And then in Cosmic Class, we obviously have King Groot, we have Null, we have CGR, and Hulkling, and Cersei. So there are like five options there as well. Tech Class, I'd absolutely love to rank up my Ghost and or Guardian as one of my next champion rank ups. So, uh, sorry, <laughs> Ghost and Warlock, yeah. Ghost and Warlock are most likely rank ups there. Potentially Guardian. And in Mystic class, it's quite definitely in between Ebony Maw, Tigra, 
and Sasquatch, I think. More than likely. But I will definitely also have to do some more rank ups before the Balgans go live. Just because I want to be extra mean when I put my deck together. But yeah, that's it for now. Let me know what you guys think about the rank up and the reasoning behind it. And then I'm going to catch you guys later. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the